welcome to my American Idol commentary, review, and recap of American Idol Season 12! I am so freaking pumped! I'm pumped! We're back! It's the Idol season! We had fun in the fall with The Voice and The X Factor, but the real show is here! American Idol, and I am so happy and excited, ah! but um, yeah, pretty much the opening of the episode was epic, um, they pretty much just showed, like, all these people who have gotten so successful from the show, Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Hudson, uh, Daughtry, um, Sky McCreary, um, who else, just everyone, Jordan Sparks, just so many people, had become so successful from the show. And pretty much, they were just saying, see, we are the best singing show on here. X Factor's pretty cool, you know. They have Simon now. They're cool. The voice is pretty cool. But Idol is and always will be the number one. And this just proves it. They said something like, I don't remember the number, but it was something like 20 million something over. I don't know what they said. Something like that. But, oh, my God. It was so good. Oh, and then, oh, Mr. Philip Phillips. They showed him. Um, You know, I, Philip has grown on me. I didn't like him last season. But after I met him and I went to the tour, I've changed my mind. And I actually enjoy his album. So happy for him. He's doing really, really well for himself. I did not think that he was going to. Um, He's doing great. So Good for him. Okay, so to start off, I want to talk about the judges, the new judges. We have Randy Jackson, who I'm not a fan of, so I'm not going to talk about him. Um, <laughs> and he's been there for 12 years, so there's nothing really to say. He's pretty much the same. He, he, he might be a little bit meaner now. I think, I think each season he just gets meaner and meaner and meaner. <laughs> like the first season, he's kind of just like chill. And then he, would, he slowly, each season, just started to get like mean, so... <laughs> I think it kind of has to, though, especially because he's been there, you know, for 12 years. It's kind of like, I'm the man of the house. I gotta, I gotta take, take control. So that makes sense. Uh, okay, I'll talk about Keith Urban first. He's very soft-spoken. He, he doesn't, he hasn't really shined too much. He's not a bad judge. He's not, like, an amazing judge. I think he, with the advice that I've seen just on this first episode, he seems pretty good. I think... There was a couple of times where I was kind of like, really, you didn't like him? But um, I like him. I, I think he's going to get better as it goes on, so I have high hopes for him. Um, then we have Mariah Carey, who, she's okay. You know, I think she's she's not the best judge, and she's not the worst judge. Um, I wouldn't say she's better than Jennifer Lopez. I don't think so. I still think J-Lo maybe is just a little bit better at the constructive criticism. Um I feel like she did give some constructive criticism, but not enough. Um, there's at one point, which I'll get into, she was talking, like, trying to give a, a kid constructive criticism. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice that you say that. But then there was a couple of times where I was kind of like, really? No. So she's okay. But definitely the star on the panel, and I hate to say this because she kind of drives me nuts, is Miss Nicki Minaj. Ooh, she blew me away. I know... Editing is definitely, you know, is good because editing can make you look better than you really are or even worse than you really are. I think the editing team is doing a really good job of um, capturing her and showing what she does and can do and has to offer to these contestants. You would think that, you know, she would just be like, nope, I don't like it. But she really, she has been probably the best judge just on this episode, that has given constructive criticism, you know, someone they doesn't do good, but she'd be like, you know, this isn't for you, but I know that somewhere in you, you have a passion for something, and, you know, it's just kind of like, she feels bad for these kids, and she knows what they're going through, and she doesn't, she doesn't necessarily want to just tell them they suck, she wants to tell them in a way that will keep them motivated to do something, not just in singing wise, she would, she would say like, this isn't really for you for singing, but I, I, I know that you're passionate and you're very, you know, energetic about a certain type of thing. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all, but that, I feel like she's been doing good with the constructive criticism. Um, I feel like she's pretty hilarious. Um, 
she can get annoying. I will give you that. You know, there were a couple times where, you know, she would kind of, like, make faces. But also, that could be editing. Um, I feel like, so far, her relationship with Mariah, I feel like, is more sisterly. I feel like, back in the summer when they were talking about the feud, I feel like we're going to see more coming up. But for the first episode, I don't think it was that bad. But I think they were kind of maybe over-dramatizing the feud in, like, all the news articles. Because it didn't really seem very harmful. It kind of felt like, you know, they love each other, you know. I feel like they respect each other. But at the same time, they get on the, each other's nerves and they like to, you know, pick pick fun at each other, you know. So I kind of feel like it's like that. And, you know, and just like sisters do, sisters do get really, really angry with each other and really do, you know, get in real major fights. So I kind of feel like their their uh, relationship is very sisterly. So we'll we'll see. Uh, I for the previews for next week, I see a little bit of more, whoop, a little bit more of a drama kind of thing going on. So that's all about the judges. I spent a long time talking about them because you kind of have to because they're new and they're different and it's very completely different from last season. You know, it, it's it's weird because. I did kind of feel like I was watching a different show. It's still American Idol. It still has Ryan Seacrest. It still has Randy Jackson. It still has the whole format of, you know, going up to the judges, getting the ticket when you make it to Hollywood. It's all it's all the same show, but it felt a little bit different just because, you know, there's a completely different panel. And it's refreshing, you know. Um, it's, it's sad to see some of the judges go. You know, I'm going to miss some of the things Jennifer Lopez and Steven Tyler did in the past two seasons. I'm going to miss some of their personalities and, you know, some of their craziness and all that. But um, it's, it's nice and fresh to see new faces, and it's nice to have a little bit of a change. So let's get on with the audition. So first up, we had Mike... Berno Payne, age 27, and he was singing a really bad version of We Will Rock You, and uh, he was kind of silly, and he was kind of like, he's kind of like a karaoke singer. Um, he seems like a nice guy, but um, not good enough for Hollywood. <laughs> then after that, we have Tina Torres, tw age 28, from Queens, New York, and she sang You've Got a Friend. She's actually a huge fan of Mariah. Um, she attended Camp Mariah. Um, I don't know what Camp Mariah was. I think maybe it's a camp for kids <laughs> to, like, learn to sing. I have no idea. But she said that her experience was great there, and Mariah seemed to really like her because, you know, obviously, she's kind of like a Mariah fangirl, so of course Mariah's going to love her. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, she was really good. Um, I like her, you know. She, just, she didn't really have, like, a story, and I feel like, a lot of times, people need a story to do well, but not necessarily. She, she's just like an average person, and I, I like that about her. Um, she's cool. I like her. Uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more. Seeing more. I guess that's all I'm gonna say because I, I really don't like have like any specifics to say about her, but I really do like her a lot. So I'm wishing her all the luck. Then there's a montage of three good singers. I don't really think I caught their names, but they seemed good, so good for them. And then after that, we have James Bay, age 15, from Long Island, New York, and he sang One Last Lonely Girl by Justin Bieber. So he is um, an Asian, and for some reason they like to make Asians a joke on the show. He's not the only Asian on this episode um, that they kind of made fun of. Uh, if you remember season three, William Hung being majorly made fun of, but he ended up getting fame because of it. <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, he wasn't good. Uh, I feel bad for him. He really, he really looks like he has a dedication and he really wants to do it, but he just doesn't have the talent. I really, and this is what I was talking about with Mariah saying, um, constructive criticism. Um, she was telling him like how maybe he could try and be a DJ and you know, that's really good constructive criticism because I can tell that this kid, he really likes music and it really inspires him. And I feel like you don't necessarily have to be a singer to be a part of music. There's a lot of things involved with music, um, with the business side and the production side and just everything that goes into it. It's not just singers. It's not all about singing. So, you know, I think that was a really good constructive criticism. And it maybe could have opened his eyes up to being like, hey, you know, maybe I'm not good at singing. But maybe I could try and, you know, learn an instrument or try and, you know, learn how to DJ or all this different stuff, and, you know, try try mixing and all that different kind of things, and I think, you know, that was really good constructive criticism. Um, he seems like 
a cool, like, he kind of has, like, the cool vibe for a DJ, too. So I think I, I can see where um, Mariah was going with that. And Nikki was really sweet. You can tell that, you know, he was heartbroken. But I think, uh, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Nikki. Uh, yeah, so Nikki was really sweet to him, and it, it was nice to see that. And then after that, we have Christina Isabel, I think, age 21, and she sang Summertime. I absolutely love this girl. She's a bluesy kind of voice, really good, amazing. It's great. And she also talked, she talked about how she um, had problems with her weight. Um, you know, she's not the skinniest girl in the world, and she's not, she's not like, huge, but, um, she said that she was like 200 or something, which is funny because <laughs> that's nothing compared to what I am. But, um, <laughs> excuse me. But, um, yeah, she was really good. I really liked her. I'm looking forward to more from her. So, to so that, that, we have Evan Gregorio singing H21 from Old Bridge, New Jersey, singing I'm Yours. And what's funny about this kid is he is a white guy with guitar, and he has a really, really touching story. He had cancer, and he had to have his leg amputated, yet the judges gave him all no's. I think he had a decent voice. It wasn't the best voice in the world. Um, and I kind of felt like the judges would, you know, look past the okay voice and be like, oh, you're so inspiring. You had cancer and you had to amputate your leg and all this stuff. And you're a tap dancer and you had to relearn how to do everything. And oh my God, you're so inspiring. Yes, you should go through. And I'm just surprised that they didn't do that. I'm surprised that they were just kind of like, eh, you have an okay voice. I don't think you're good enough. And I was kind of like, really? Um, he did sound better when he played the guitar, but it still wasn't like, oh! But, um, it was weird. It was, was kind of like, I want to compare him to Philip Phillips, because Philip Phillips, I would say, has leaps and bounds over him. But it was kind of, it's, it's kind of like them saying no to Philip Phillips. Like, being like, oh, no, you can play the guitar, you're cool, but I don't like your voice. That's pretty much how it was, so. <laughs> you know, I think it's good, though. I, I definitely would say that the girls on this episode shine a lot more than the guys, which... I think it's kind of saying something. I think they really wanted girls. I think they really wanted the girl last season. There was a lot of people who could have done it. Jessica Sanchez, Holly, Skyler, at least. They were all really good female vocalists last year. And I feel like they really wanted to pull for one of them. But, you know, Philip Phillips prevails with the guitar. And because he's a guy. <laughs> so... I feel like the producers are really trying for a girl this season. I think they really tried last season, but I think they're trying even harder now. Which, I think is cool. Um, I would love to see a girl win. Then after that, we have Jessica Cartilius. I don't know if that's how you say her name. Age 19, Staten Island. Um, this is weird, because she's one of the people that was nominated. I don't necessarily know how that worked. All I know is that people sent in requests for people, I guess. And I think it was her her mom or her grandma, I'm not sure, but, um, they, she nominated him, and then Randy came to, like, some bar she was playing at, and, and invited her, and then she got there, and she sang, and she wasn't that great, and then she sang with a guitar, and she was off key, and it was kind of like, oh, you went to go get her, because you wanted her to audition, but she didn't make it to Hollywood? Okay, I don't, I don't know. That's weird, but um, I feel bad for her. You know, she's she was good. She's not the best, and I feel like she needs more years to grow. She's still young, so I would love to see her come back. And then after that, we have Shira. Yeah, I can't pronounce words. I don't know how you say her name, Shira. I don't know. I'm not going to even try and do her last name. Uh, age 23, she's from Israel, but now she lives in Brooklyn. And she sang Valerie. And I liked her. Uh, I kind of didn't really pay attention to the audition, because honestly, <laughs> they played Haley Reinhardt's song free, and I kind of freaked out. I was kind of like, oh my god, they're playing Haley's song! And then I kind of wasn't really paying attention to the audition, and then they played Haley again and started playing Oh My, and I was like, oh my god, they're playing Oh My! So... <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really pay attention. <laughs> but, um, 
from what I heard in the background of me freaking out about Haley's song being played, she was good, so <laughs> I wish her all the luck. Okay, <laughs> then after that, we had Frankie Ford, age 24, Brooklyn singing Sweet Dreams by the Arrhythmics. Again, I wasn't really paying attention to him, because I was kind of on Twitter freaking out about Haley. Um, <laughs> fangirl problems! <laughs> but, um, from what I heard in the background, when I wasn't paying attention, he was good. So, I wish him all the luck again. <laughs> then after that, we had Benjamin Gaisley, age 27, from Sinking Springs, Pennsylvania. He is a crazy guy who is dressed up in like this red suit and it's all squeaky and he has like this wig on and he's just kind of a joke. And he's doing all these weird dance moves and thrusting and Nikki's like, Ugh. and uh, yeah, it was pretty bad and it was pretty much a joke and it was kind of hilarious at the same time because Nikki's reaction. <laughs> She was like, when he, when he did the hip thrust, it was so funny. But, um, yeah. Bye-bye! <laughs> and then we have Rosiana Schindelman, age 21, from Staten Island. And she is pretty bad, so I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> then we have a little bit of montage of bad singers. La, 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 la. And then, we have Sarah Rustiuko, I think that's how you say her name, age 17, from, well, the phone stopped ringing, I'm not answering it, I'm in the middle of a commentary, okay? <sighs> age 17, Hampton, New Jersey, uh, she sang, like, uh, she said, sh oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted, stop ringing, I'm getting distracted! Um, where was I? Oh yeah, she's from New Jersey, but she said that she's in, like, a country kind of, redneck kind of, um, Yeah, that's right. Don't leave a message. Um, redneck kind of, uh, what am I talking about? Like an area in New Jersey that's not, like, highly populated, I guess I'll say. Um, she sang Mama's Song by Carrie Underwood, which, we were like, oh, okay, she's a country singer, and she is okay. She's, she's not the best singer I've ever heard on this show, but she's not, like, horrible. And then... Randy was like, I want to hear another song, and then she was like, oh, I could do super bass, and she starts rapping, and she was like, I don't know the words to super bass, but she was just like, blah, 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 rapping, and Nikki was like, oh, 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 yeah, mm, mm, mm. and I was like, Nikki, chill out, but at the same time, I was like, Haha, Nikki, you're so funny, but um, yeah, and the judges were like, oh, no, you gotta pick one, and Nikki was like, no, she doesn't, no, she doesn't. And um, I kind of agree with Nikki on that one. I feel like you don't have to be just one person. Yeah, I feel like you do need to have like a niche and you need to know who you are when you go into a record company. But right now they're on American Idol and they're working towards a record company, so why can't they experiment? I mean, come on. I really don't think this girl's going to be a rapper. I think she just kind of did it to get Nikki's attention. Smart move, kind of, but then at the same time, it pisses off people like Randy, who's always like, Dude, dog, you gotta figure out who you are. Uh, uh. So, you know, smart move, but then at the same time, not smart move. But I liked her, so I wish her all the luck. And next we have Albert Chang, age 25, and, um, he is stupid. He doesn't know who any of the judges on the panel are. Um, I don't even know why he's auditioning for American Idol. If you don't even know who the judges are, if you don't even do you even know what show you're trying out for, like, the, why are you here? It's kind of like it's kind of like the Idol producers just like went on the street and was like, "Hey, do you know what American Idol is?" And the guy was like, "No." And then they would be like, "Oh, so do you want to audition for it?" And he was probably like, "No." And then they were like, "Well, come on, you're gonna be on TV," and he was probably like. Oh, okay. It's kind of like that, you know. I don't really don't feel like he actually like went through the line to audition. I feel like they just kind of like went on the street, picked him up because they wanted some kind of funny audition. That's what it kind of felt like, but who knows? Then we had a montage of singers with Nikki and her British accent, which I don't really understand, but okay. <laughs> it was funny because I was watching with my mom, and she was like, "She's British," and I was like, "No, she's just being silly." <laughs> so then after that. 
We had Angela Miller, age 18, from Beverly, Massachusetts, singing Mama Knows Best. Oh my god, she is my favorite. She was definitely my favorite of the season, uh, not the season, of the episode. She was kind of like, I don't know, she has a really good voice, and I don't know, she just reminded me a lot of Haley Reinhardt. I'm just going to be honest. She just reminds me of Haley Reinhardt, and anyone who reminds me of Haley, I'm going to like, so... That's really why I liked her. But, um, yeah, I really liked her. She's really awesome. I'm a fan, and I really hope she makes the live shows because I want to vote. I want to vote. And then we have Brett Holt, age 28, from Willow Grove, singing When I Fall in Love. And he claims to be an American Idol guy, and he claims to be, like, a huge fan, but apparently he isn't because he doesn't even know what season William Hung auditioned. And every single Idol fan knows, like, real, like, hardcore fans like me know that William Hung auditioned in season three. I mean, come on, who doesn't know that? He didn't even know what season he was on. He said season 13, and it's really season 12. Like, what? What? Yeah. He was pretty bad, and I feel bad for him. He needs to learn his Idol trivia. <laughs> And then we have okay, I'm gonna i I'm gonna do bad on his name, but it's um I'm just gonna call him Turbinator, because that's what they were calling him. <laughs> the Turbinator for age twenty two. Um he sang Sunday morning by Maroon Five. He is an Indian uh I don't know, the ones that wear the turban, I don't know what that's called. But um yeah. People are probably gonna be like, You're stupid, but I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not knowledgeable enough to know these things. Um <laughs> Uh, they called him the Turbinator because he wears a turban, which I thought was funny. And um, they were like, uh, who was it? was uh, Mariah and, no, not Mariah. Keith and Nikki were kind of on the fence about him. And Randy and Mariah were all for him. And um, Nikki, it was Nikki's hands to say if he was going to go. And she was like, Turb, you're going to Hollywood. Which I thought was funny. She was like, Turb, Turb. <laughs> I like him. I feel like he's going to be like the Hijun of the competition. You know, not the best voice in the world. Not the worst, obviously, because he's on going to Hollywood. But um, he brings, you know, a smile to your face and he brings some entertainment and um, some humor. So uh, I like him. Then after that, lastly, we had the pimp spot, which goes to Ashley. <sighs> I can't pronounce names. I'm sorry. Age 20. <laughs> From East Hartford, Connecticut, and she sang Put Your Records On, and her family um, um, adopts kids and, who are medically challenged, which I thought was interesting and very inspiring. And she, I don't think she, she wasn't my favorite audition of the night, but um, she was really good, and you know, she has a story to back it up, which I think people will like. So I really liked her, and I enjoyed her. <sighs> okay, so yeah, this went on for on and on and on because I couldn't shut up because I love American Idol. So thank you all for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Maria Haley. I just hit a thousand followers, which is freaking awesome. I freaking love you all. And yeah, bye bye.